Hey everyone, welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. If you're new here, we're all about budgeting, finances, business, and from time to time, I plan my life either minimal or functional. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, I hope that you would consider subscribing. But today, we're going to be doing a A5 flip and let's get into it. So, um, right now, I switched from A6. Many of you know. I love A6 size, but I decided I wanted to just kind of switch up. I don't know. I was looking for a change in my life, and so I went with an A5. I started in just a regular A5 planner, and then I decided I wanted to try the vinyl from Cloth and Paper. I will say one of the downfalls of this planner is it gets dirty. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It bends. Um, it's pretty, but it bends, and again, it gets dirty and there's no pockets so yeah so but let's hop right on so i have this dashboard from cloth and paper um this is my inbox section from cloth and paper cloth and paper cloth and paper point hun and these two paste sticky notes are from my shop which should be restocking um this week, week this week so be on the lookout for that and i had this card from cloth and paper here with the eclipse clip but i keep it in my purse so it just kept coming out so i just stuck it here until i can um figure that out and i love having these appointment stickers here because when i'm at a doctor's appointment and yes i take this outside i um right on here and you'll see some of these they were sitting in my inbox but I moved them, so you'll see that later on. And then this gold clip is from one of our budget boxes, which is in the shop now. So what I did, since I don't have pockets, I clipped, like, I don't want y'all as well, it don't matter. I clipped, like, all of the referrals my doctor gave me um, here so that I wouldn't forget. So they're kind of part of the inbox section. And then I think I told you guys I'm having surgery next week. You'll probably see this on Tuesday or so. So here are some instructions right before surgery. So I want to keep that there. Um, this is my task delegation. And to me, I wanted to keep that next to the inbox because to me, it is kind of part of the inbox and how I move things around. And this uh, is from cloth and paper. So I have a couple of those in there. And this is, let me tell you, you all saw my um, desk tour. I had wanted to start a Kanban board. I even bought the Kanban desk pad. This is the best thing ever. So I got this Kanban um, dashboard from Cloth and Paper. Um, it says in progress to start, in progress and complete it. And so I've completed stuff. And this stuff is to start. Matter of fact, I can move this to, really this is done. Um, put this in progress. Um, these I gotta do this is in progress yeah so i love this so i've been using the sticky notes from my shop to use this combo on board and i love it and then i just made me a plain and simple 2023 overview and I, I did this flip on my instagram but i don't know if you can see it but there's a flight slight little little leaf behind there um these dividers are from cloth and paper and I just make the tabs here, which I'm ready to switch up and just do regular font instead of, you know, this cursive font, but nonetheless. And these overview, oh my God, it's either perfective paper or paper test designs. I want to say this is from paper test, but I used these last year and I love them. I don't know, I'm normally not a horizontal girl, but I did use these last year and love them. I didn't have a whole lot going on last year, but now I think I'm going to go to the vertical form maybe for next year and then I'm only keeping three months at a time in my planner and these dividers are from cloth and paper they're one of the very first things I bought from cloth and paper in A5 size so I just have three months in here this card cloth and paper a small black ollie clip and these um, monthly inserts are from my shop that I make and so I have those that's January and then this is from Confective Paper Co. Her half page slips. And I really didn't need them. Um, but I wanted to try them out. And I got some other stuff from her. And I'll show that to you later. And then this is February. Just plain. Not a lot. I just have my stickers in here um, from my shop. 
the new build do stickers in square form and the corner stickers from the budget box and all of the I don't know where I got cut off at but I was saying that the icon stickers are from uh, my shop um, and then there's this I gotta stop spending money like I sell dope that is from my good friend Angela over at Plan Aesthetic Shops and this is March. I don't really have a lot going in March yet. I just kind of pre-planned some things that came up that I needed to, you know, put in. And then this is an Ollie clip from the cloth and paper Ollie clip um, collab. And then these are timed weeklies that I created myself. And um, because when I switched over to A5, I just didn't want to purchase anymore. So I just made my own. I had already made them, but I just perfected them for my A5. And this is where I keep my salon schedule. That's this divider. Gotta move on through. And then next we go into the weekly and I just have a couple of sticky notes here. And then let me back up. I do have a month on one page that I use to kind of plan. Um, this month I use it to plan content and um, just things basically for the shop. So if I'm on the go and I need to th I think of something, I can plan it here. And then we go into my weeklies. These have sheets, sorry, back cloth and paper. That's why I said I didn't need the other ones, but. And then this is, hmm, this is from Perfective Paper Co. But I wanted to use it like a pre plan, kind of like a dashboard. Um, so this was last week, I believe. And this is this week. And then so next week, as you see, I moved those appointments. These are all the things I got going on. I got my taxes, surgery, and then another doctor's appointment here. And this is this week. So I'll kind of add small things here, uh, make a list, another to-do list over here, kind of small brain dump, and then check or use these to highlight these are things off. So next week, which is the 13th to the 19th, which you all will be seeing this on that week. Um, I'll have all this stuff kind of filled in, but I'll still leave these sticky notes until the uh, appointments are done. And then um, last week, I used these from Cloth and Paper, and I wanted to test out the new little stickers here. Um, everything else is probably from my shop. And then I decided to use them again this week. And I was watching For the Planner Girls, Brie, I love her channel. I've watched some of her videos like several times. I get such inspiration from her channel. But this is this week and I wanted to kind of keep it plain. So as you can see, I kind of highlighted some things, she used some little stickers. And something that she does and which I'm gonna do is she put like the page flags on her today marker. And that way it'll show through and not a lot of sticky notes. And I used to leave a lot of sticky notes, but I couldn't see. So, anywho. And then this is from Cloth and Paper as well. And these are from Cloth and Paper. And so that's what's on my little to-do. And then I'll just pick them up and move them around. Yeah, and then these are my inserts from my shop. This particular design isn't in there. I just kind of created... I mean, it's in there, but the little light faint lines dividing the day up, I did just for myself. I keep saying I'll put them in the shop, but I forget. So these are in here as well because I plan to switch be between the two, which like this coming week, I may use these instead of the ones from cloth and paper. Uh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, I have about two, three weeklies in here, but that's the reason why I like to switch in between. And then I'm really kind of liking these on uh, weeks that I'm not that busy. And I never thought I would like a week on one page weekly, but I'm kind of digging that. And then next, so I have a couple of mine in here. And uh, just an affirmation sticker from cloth and paper. And then we get into daily. This is an old daily dashboard I did, I think, uh, last year. I changed, yeah, 2022. And those, they may still be in my shop. And then these are the dailies from cloth and paper, which I haven't had to use. But I use these when um, I have a busy day. And then I believe this pocket thing here is from cloth and paper and this card I believe is from oh I can't remember her name uh, it'll come to me if you really want to know I'll, I'll figure it out I, it, Wally noted that's it cloth and paper Sessa V and Poi and Hun with another Wally noted card behind that just a little layering in the pouches and then here um, that's from my shop cloth and paper cloth and paper cloth and paper just some neutral flags 
And then this goes into my routines and I created this routine um, paper for myself. And then this is from cloth and paper. This is from cloth and paper. And then, sorry about that. So we're talking about money routines for the month of February in the budget box. I got it private on here, but this was something that I was gonna to add to it, but I decided to take it out. So that's why I'm showing it now. But um, I have daily routines, so things that I can just list daily. And I still may use this because I do kind of like that. Um, and I've already shown this other thing. And then this is one of the main components of the budget, but I mean, that'll be there and it's just routines. And I like this because I love it routine. So it doesn't just have to be money routine, but you can make it money routine. And so um, I created this. And so I'm using it for like everything, pretty much my daily routines, monthly routines, quarterly routines, and I add my money routines in there as well. Um, but there's another part I can't remember if I decided to add or not, so I'm gonna skip past that. But I kinda gotta show it, so I'm gonna, yeah. Anywho, here is my spending tracker. I need to go back and fill that out. And so I updated the spending tracker. It's coming, but it's coming, but I updated the spending tracker and I like this one. So um, this is what it looks like unfilled out cloth and paper against another cloth and paper dashboard, another cloth and paper dashboard. I hadn't even used these. These are still in the plastic. And then of course the cloth and paper sticky notes. And this is my projects. And uh, some of this I can't show, which I can't, um, but this is uh, cloth and papers project management. Um, and these are things about the budget box. So that's why I got these. I do love these private stickers because now I know not to open stuff that I shouldn't. And so this is what theirs look like. And then, let me see, here are mine. Yeah, I can't show that and I should have put a sticker on. But these are my project planner um, inserts and I'll be redoing those. But these are the old ones and I'm gonna redo them. And then this is just kind of like a fly leaf and then this is a cloth and paper dashboard. And then these are the notes sections. I love the executive notes. There's nothing, I don't have any notes on there. And then here is a cloth and paper dashboard with another um, cloth and paper clip. And then the new cloth and paper um, card. And then another cloth and paper clip and the Ollie clip. And I just realized this little sticker came off, but this is Probably, huh. I don't know how this got messed up, but this is where I'm planning the budget box. So I need to stick that there. Um, that's another thing that I got from Brie is these page flags with the little icons on them. Oh, genius. I love it. And I can get to stuff a little quicker that way. So now I got to remake this one because it got all bent up. But yeah, so that is a quick flip of my A5. I'll be doing my business planner next. So look out for that and of course my budget planner. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor. And if you're new here, leave me a message in the comment section. Let me know that you're new here so that I can welcome you to the code. But if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.